Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teach and Student and in this video I will give you an overview of the new Moodle version 4.0 which has been released on the 18th of April 2022. To be honest it really was about time that Moodle got a cleaner look and also improve a couple of obvious functionalities which they have finally done. So let's have a look around together. What you can see here is the homepage of an entirely fresh Moodle site in the Boost theme. All I have done is customize the background by adding an image. So you most likely would have a nice white background, but I just wanted to make the site a bit more colorful for the video. Anyway, looking at the homepage, we can straight away see that everything looks a lot more readable because only the center content of the homepage is being displayed and it almost goes across the entire space. You will also realize this later on other pages and within individual courses. One of the reasons why the look is a lot cleaner is that the blocks have been pushed to the right side and can be extended only if you need them by clicking this tiny arrow here. Hiding the blocks on the right side can not only be done on the homepage but also on the dashboard and within courses which enables the content again to go across the entire screen for easy reading. What you can also notice is that the left hand navigation that used to be here where my logo is has been moved to the top and now only includes the really frequently used buttons for more efficient navigation. Let's go through it. The top navigation of course has a home button which always brings you back to the home page. Ideally in my opinion and you can set that if you like this is the first page you should see when logging in so pretty much the landing page and if you have the home page selected as your landing page this is also the landing page for your students. That's why you can customize the home page nicely by enabling the newly designed edit button here in the top right corner. Speaking of the new edit button, the great thing with this button is that it always stays right up there on the top no matter where you find yourself on your Moodle site, on the homepage, within a course or even within a resource or activity. So this makes it a lot easier to switch between editing like we have it now and non-editing mode no matter where you are and what you do. But let's go back to the top navigation and look at the dashboard button. While the home page is more of a general page with more generic information, the dashboard shows quite individual information. You for example have this nice timeline which shows teachers and students their individual upcoming events, deadlines for assignments and activities etc. All these events are now also searchable and also have these nice icons to make the user experience a lot better in my opinion. Of course you still have all the other blocks that you know from the previous Moodle version but as mentioned before you can place them on the right side which then allows users to hide them if they are not needed. Again, just like with the home page and just like with the course pages, we can also customize our dashboard. Turning the edit mode on, here we go, enables the add a block button here from where we can add additional blocks with information that we would like to have. And we can also decide whether we want to add the block and display the block in the center of the page or on the right side. Going back to the top navigation, the next button is the My Courses button that reveals all courses that you are enrolled in, either as a student itself or as a teacher or any other role. If you are enrolled in many courses, you can use this search functionality, which has been revised and works a lot better now to find a particular course. Once you found your course, you can click on the course and this will take you to the content of the selected course where we will now see one of the main differences compared to the previous Moodle version. Pushing the major navigation to the top has created a nice space on the left side which now has been filled 
with a beautiful content overview of the currently selected course. I would actually call it a table of content for the course. So rather than endlessly scrolling up and down to get to a particular course section, we can simply select a section in the left hand side, which directly navigates us to the selected section. As you can see, the course overview also highlights the section that you're currently in, which is particularly great if you have big courses. On top of that, the course overview also gives you the opportunity to easily move activities and resources to different sections. Let me just quickly turn editing back on. And then for example, let's say we want to move this activity from here to here. So we just drag it along and done. That's how simple it is. In the previous Moodle version, you probably remember, we had to scroll through the entire course content to move items around. The course table of content makes this a lot easier now. Also, you and your students can now hide the different course sections by clicking this button. And then you can select one particular part of the course to really focus on that. It doesn't really matter for small courses like this example course that I've created, but for courses with lots of content, that's quite nice. By the way, if you don't like the overview on the left hand side, you can simply minimize it and then, of course, open it again. Notice on the right side, just like in the dashboard and homepage, you can display blocks that you can unhide whenever you want and, of course, also hide them again. The course tools for admins and teachers can be found here on top of the content, which is quite handy to access. We have our settings, participants, um, grades, reports, and a couple of more links. Uh, all the functionalities are pretty much still the same. However, let me just highlight reports because they are one of the features that really have been improved by Moodle. You can now get customized reports from predefined data sources, okay? Some of you might already know this reporting functionality from another Moodle product, the Moodle Workplace. But it's great to have this here now as well, because those reports help you to identify best ways to deliver your content. Let me just quickly go inside one of the activities as well. Maybe this one, because then you can see that you have all your editing tools for that particular activity or resource, whichever you're working on, nicely placed on the top. So yeah, everything on the core side looks really coherent and tool buttons finally seem to be placed where you would intuitively look for them. Now the last but most important menu button for admins is the site administration button, this one here. This of course, takes you to the place from where you can literally edit everything. Nothing has really changed here. You got everything user related, course related, grade related, and so on as you already know it. But let's have a quick look at the top right bar as well. I'm using a Moodle Cloud demo version, but most of you would probably see a little search bar here. And I really have to admit, I love the search bar, even though you can't see it here on my demo site. But if you see it, you can search any terms that are mentioned on any page, the home page, the dashboard, or even the course content. So if you search something, it would display all sections, including forum posts, for example, where your search term appears. Further on the right, and this time we can actually see it, you still got the bell icon which displays all notifications. You can get notifications, for example, for due dates for assignments or activities, or when someone adds a forum entry and so on. Moodle also still has an internal messenger service that you can use when clicking on the speech bubble here. So you can text individual people or groups if they've been set up beforehand. Moving on, when clicking on your profile here, you get the same buttons as you know from the previous version. You can of course also log out from here, but more importantly, you can get to your profile settings. Here you can edit your user details and let's scroll down, for example, add an image, or if you scroll up again, 
uh, change your name and all these kind of things. Going one step back, you can also see your personal reports. So what you've done today, what you've looked at today and so on. The profile button also brings you to your preferences page from where you can select preferences for all different kind of things. You can, for example, set your preference on how you want to be informed of new forum entries from other people here in the forum preferences and of course, much more. So that was just a little nice overview, but I want to make one thing very clear for you. Don't worry that you have to learn anything new in regards to using Moodle after the upgrade. It mainly looks a lot nicer and the navigation is a lot more efficient, but functionalities and the way you create and populate courses or communicate with students is still the same. So please feel free to have a look at my tutorial videos on this channel. They do work for all Moodle versions, including the new 4.0 version. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see tutorials on how to use Moodle, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Take care and see you again soon.